okay folks, it's absolutely glorious today, I don't know if you can see that. The sun is blistering. It's a little bit cold, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, so we're getting ready for the greenhouse. It still hasn't come yet, um, we're hoping it'll come shortly. So we thought we'd start preparing the ground um, for it really. So the initial thought, by turning around, the initial thought that it was going to go next to the strawberry bed and between the um, the fig tree, but I'm not sure we'll get it in because it's quite a tight space, um, and I just thought it's really close to the gate, so I'm a bit thing about having it there just in case someone throws something over the gate, or you know, if someone's bringing stuff to their plot as well, just in case something happens. So what I've decided is we're going to have it near the top. Now it doesn't get as much sun, but it still gets quite a lot. During the day, that's James. He's just helping out for the day. Doesn't like to be on camera, so he's just moving the potatoes. So we're going to have it up here now, next to the deck. In that way, it's out the way. It's near the top, um, and it, like I said, it still gets just as much light. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure this area and try and flatten it off today, um, ready for a base, um, and just see what happens really, and then hopefully when it comes we'll uh, be able to just put it up now we're not exactly sure the size we think is 6x4 or 6x8 so we'll measure a 6x8 space really and go from there I think but join us in a bit and we'll show you what's happening okay the other thing I wanted to show you guys is the fig tree now all the leaves have started falling off I'm tempted to trim it back a bit but I don't know and the fig that was on there has gone from green to a sort of fig coloured and it's kind of soft so I'm probably going to pull that off later and we'll take it home and we'll see what it's like but it's not bad oh there you go it's even falling off so our first fig so we'll take this home later and see what it's like like I said it's a bit squishy I don't know what it's going to be like that's alright yeah any ideas on what to do with it let me know. Hi folks, welcome to the allotment. Um, it's been about two weeks since we were last down here and you would have just seen um, the video for that really. Um, the weather's been awful so we haven't really been down here and because of the weather as well um, in the early night it's just been almost impossible so I thought I'd come down here today I was going to do a bit of tidying up and things but it's absolutely freezing down here. Um, so we're only going to get a few bits and bobs then and probably leave it then but if I show you around okay so the platform we made two weeks ago for the greenhouse as you can see the greenhouse still isn't here now the platform we made is still settling so it's just a little bit uneven but what we're going to do is we'll start evening that out a bit better now and hopefully we should get the greenhouse shortly now just as a general sort of tour everything it has been so cold everything is dying off now they the winter and onions and the garlic are doing fine but as you can see the allotments looking really bare which is weird it's never a good time of year this it's so cold but the leeks that we planted on the off chance are coming up they're doing all right actually they're not bad at all now they do need thinning out a bit but we'll probably wait till the new year for that this bed we need to de-weed it and get it all clear and do a bit of topping up and things like that but again we're not in any rush for that at the minute all the um, rhubarbs have died off now as you can see so we'll clear that up as well and they should be good for next year then hopefully we've dug this sort of pathway here as well so we've started digging that we've got the flowers in here these need emptying at some point um, so we need to do that and this one needs de-weeding as well so there's a lot of de-weeding need to go on really carrots are still growing so they're doing alright and so with the beetroots we'll pull some of them up again today um, there's plenty there so we'll pull some of them up the uh, sprouts and the parsnips are coming up lovely as you can see so they're doing alright so we're quite happy with them and the original parsnips that we did are doing great as well 
so they get they won't be long. We'll have some of them now ready for Christmas. Strawberry bed over here is dying off, which is good. Um, this is the one we're getting rid of, so once it's all died off, we can dig it all over um, and get ready for more raspberries, I think, in here. Raspberries here are all doing fine. We need to trim some of these back now, which I, hopefully I'll get done today, if I'm honest. If not, over the next few weeks, we'll trim some of them back as well. And the strawberry bed here, again, that's dying off. Excuse me, so that's all fine as well. Still got a mound of compost here, which we'll use to fill up the beds. Now, the fig tree. Fig trees, all the leaves have come off now, which is fine. Now the fig. I've got a confession about the fig. The fig that we pulled off, I forgot about it. It was in my box that I took home, and I actually forgot about it. So it wasn't pretty. It wasn't fun to clean up either. So I'll have to wait till next year now to. Uh, give that a go and try and try a fig or one of our figs really um so yeah just remember if you're pulling taking stuff home don't leave it in your allotment box otherwise it won't work and it's just minging so yeah that was my confession right then guys so the next job is we're gonna have a, like a wood chip mulch down on these paths so the plan is to make them a bit more level i don't know if you can see but if you follow the line of the bottom board, it goes up into the soil. So we need to make these a bit more level. It just means that it's easier for when we're doing the mulching. That's more of a level and get a bit more depth on it. So we're going to do that now. I've already started. If I take you over to this one. So as you can see, this is all the soil we've got out of it. So it's a lot better. which means we can get a bit more depth on it. Now... There is a gap here in the corners, which is fine. Again, the mulch should do that. And as you come up here, there is a lip. It's a good, uh, it's a massive lip actually. But again, the mulch will take an inch or two or an inch and a bit off that, which is fine. And the wheelbarrow shouldn't have a trouble going up it. But that's the plan to do all the way up the plot now, so it's more tiered. And it just means getting a mulch in. And again, for the side path, I thought I'd do it now, um, I thought I'd do it now just because it's quite dry, it's wet, the ground's wet but it's dry and it means it's a head start on next year then, so that's the plan while we're still waiting for pallets, we're still um, sourcing some more pallets because we've still got about another nine beds I believe to make, so um, as soon as we get them we'll start building the beds as well, I can imagine that'll probably be the springtime, just getting ready for the season, and we're sorting out the other thing I should have mentioned, we are sorting out the uh, the list of uh, seeds for next year, which is interesting. If anyone's got any suggestions or any ideas, please let me know. Thanks, guys. As you can see, we've done a bit more work on the this grading of the allotment. As you can see, it's a clear slope up. So here we've got we need to dig down on this one now next. But as you can see, we've got the steps going up, and we've been in contact with. Um, Sort of like a garden waste, I suppose, they'll get me really and they said they can supply us for wood chips. Although we can get them free from the council, it's only once a month. So in the new year, hopefully we'll get some wood chips to do the paths. And it'll all look a bit better. And by then as well, I'm hoping to have done all up here and all down here really. We started digging this area over as well for a new bed and then another one here. So we need to get some more pallets, which again in the new year we're hoping to get some new pallets and I'm debating at the top here to either have a little pond of some sort or to put more east beds I'm not sure yet just quickly then guys all we've done is we've cut down the raspberries canes and we've cleared all the back of all the uh, strawberries so we've gone all the way along all the way at the front and we've started clearing this area now already as well it's a bit difficult um it's nice and easy to dig but you never know you never get everything so what we'll do is uh keep going each time we're down here having a little search and then in the spring once stuff starts coming up we can dig it out then and we might even reuse the stuff that's coming up we've still got that little bit here to do as well uh, the other thing we've done today is as you can see the compost 
is where the rhubarb was so we've put some it's a mixture of compost and um horse manure it's a couple of years old horse manure we've mixed together and just put on top so that can feed the nutrients down over the winter now um for the for the rhubarb but that's about it we still got all the de weed and that to do it's just starting to rain a little bit so we're gonna head off now um but that's it but that's about it guys from the allotment not much is happening like i said it's all all the rubbish work really at the minute so clearing the weeds clearing everything down for winter and things like that as you can see it's not the nicest of days sorry about the wind as well so, yeah, that's what we're going to be cracking on with so i'll catch you soon guys thanks for watching